Welcome to ACC Fits on the Go, where fellows in training interview with late-breaking clinical trials investigators and talking about their science. I'm Abdullah Masri from Altman Hospital, Canton, Ohio. I'm a general cardiology fellow, and we're here in Atlanta, Georgia, and I'm excited to have Dr. Kingo Cusano, the director of the uh, National Cerebral and Cardiovascular Center in Osaka, Japan, to talk about their study, Embo able Dr. Cusano, good morning. Oh, yeah, thank you very much. So. I am Kengo Kusano from Japan. So I would like to show my trial. So naming Embo Abo. Uh, the background: the catheter ablation of atrial fibrillation becoming a standard therapeutic approach. However, if ablation carries a modest yet not worthy risk of thromboembolic complications, so the ischemic stroke 0.5 to 1 percent, and the silent cerebral embolies uh, by MRI frequently observed in fibrillation range from 10 to 40 uh, percent. Both reports are from mainly RF ablation and observational study. So recently, different ablation energy source, cryo balloon, CB, has emerged and becoming more common. However, there is a policy of prospective data comparing the incidence of cerebral embolism between CB and RF ablation. So accordingly, we investigate the hypothesis of non-inferiority of CB ablation concerning the incidence of silent cerebral embolism detected on three Tesla brain MRI following F ablation in a prospective multicenter randomized parallel group open label non-inferiority trial fashion named Embo ablation. Okay, great, excellent. And um, can you tell us a little bit more about um, how the study? Oh, uh, yeah. what the study showed. Yeah. And uh, so I think this is the most interesting. Is, uh, so we added the simultaneous carotid echo to examine the relationship to the following MRI result. And uh, so the, the study was consists of total 230 uh, F patients undergoing catheter ablation. Patients were randomly assigned one-to-one -one fashion to undergo either CB or RF ablation. And the primary endpoint defined as the instance of silent cerebral embolism SC is detected by brain MRI. And the result is shown. Uh, SCE was observed in 27 patients, among them 16 patients, 13.9% in CB group and 9.7% in RF group. The frequency was lower than the previous reports, and CB ablation demonstrated no inferiority compared to RF ablation for the primary and secondary endpoint. Microembolic signals, MES, detected by real-time carotid echo was significantly lower in CB ablation than RF ablation. However, MES were not associated with the incidence of cerebral embolism detected by brain MRI post F ablation. So, and uh, I'd like to show that no independent patient related, procedure related, and uh, microembolic signals related risk factors were identified for cerebral embolism detected by brain MRI following uh, catheter ablation. That's all. Excellent. So, uh, summary is both uh, cryoablation and radiofrequency ablation have low and kind of comparable rates of um, central nervous system events related to the procedure. Excellent. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you very much. For, to watch more videos like this one, please check out youtube.com slash fits on the go and follow our uh, X uh, account at fits on the go. Thank you.